Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rumen. I am very excited for this because I finally get to play the game with all of the sweet shit I unlocked. And this game just kicks so much ass on, on uh, Next Fear. Like, it, it really is awesome. Oh my god, look at all my saves. I have a save point at every single save in the game because that's how I like it. Anyway, let's start next fear with all of our cool new stuff. We don't need to watch that cutscene. We already know what happens. And let's go to the pause menu. Hyper blaster, hell yeah. Whoa, nice. Now let's not save. We don't we, we we don't even need to save because we have a bunch of awesome shit that'll help us survive. There is no point in saving anymore. Look at look at this awesome camera we have. See that? Look, we can look directly over Harry's shoulder. So awesome. What's that? It's a radio, Harry. Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? And it's a fucking huge radio. Look at how big that radio is. He's gonna shove it in his pocket. Yeah! Oh man! This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? Freaking love the green hyper blaster. So awesome. Where could Charlotte have gone? I guess I'll check that back alley again, but we don't have to do that because I already know where to go because I've already played this game a bunch of times. And because you have X6 bullet adjust, you have freaking 180 bolts already just because you pick up two packs. It's awesome. Love it. New Game Plus is so freaking awesome in this game. This game has so much replayability. It's so satisfying. It's just awesome. We're gonna run over here, you know, I'm gonna show off all the extra items. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, freaking awesome, it's just dead so quickly. We're gonna run in here, let's grab this. Channeling stone, freaking awesome. The the channeling stone was a very late addition in, in the game. Like, that was like a last minute thing. But the ranking wasn't, so it makes me wonder uh, how would you, like, wh like, what was the original 10-star reward, if there even was one? Or maybe the Hyper Blaster was always in the game, but you didn't, but, but you didn't get it from getting the UFO ending originally. So yeah, it's pretty interesting to think that, like, the UFO ending was a last-minute addition, because it's such a staple. It was also a last-minute addition in Silent Hill 2 as well, so that's kind of funny. In fact, it wasn't even released in the first version of Silent Hill 2. It only came out later, in, in later releases of that game. Anyway, we're gonna come over here and grab this. Hell freaking yes, Key of Woodman. Awesome. And a stupid health drink. So yeah. Uh, new game plus in this game is just awesome. Especially when you have the green hyper blaster, it's so much fun. You can shoot things from just so far away. See that? That dog was... I could barely even see that dog and he killed it. It's just awesome. Yeah. Uh-oh. Air screamer and then die. See, nothing's a threat. Nothing's a threat on New Fear. And and also we got purple blood, you know, we got all that cool stuff on. Awesome. Self-view mode, we can look directly over Harry's shoulder. Handgun bullets, no harm in picking it up. This game just... For a PS1 game, the atmosphere is so freaking awesome. Granted, I'm playing with a bunch of tweaks to make it look better than it should. But even in its original state, this game, it was something special. 
Well, then again, on original PS1 hardware, this game kind of ran like crap. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this game ran at like maybe 15 or 20 frames per second. Sometimes single digits, even though it was supposed to run at 30 frames per second. But still a charming game all around. Picking up health drinks that I'll never need, because why not? Yeah, just... I love just playing this game, you know what I mean? I like just... Walking around in it, and I, I just love this game. Ammo that I'll never, ever need, because why the hell not? This is one of those kinds of games that I'll beat twice in one sitting, you know what I mean? Like, I'll be like, oh, I feel like playing Silent Hill. And then I'll play it, and then I'll beat it. And then I'm like, oh, I feel like playing it again. And then I'll beat it again in the same sitting. Yeah. Let's run down here, because why the hell not? Awesome. I freaking love the Hyper Blaster. Especially with the green one. Most people, you know, they get they get a 10 star rank, they get the green hyper blaster, and then they're like, Alright, I 100% of the game, so I'm done. I'm not gonna play anymore. But not me. I got the hyper blaster, the, the green one, and I'm like, gotta keep playing. Here we go. There's, I just love it so much. Yeah. It's, it's just such a relaxing game, in my opinion. I I tend to play games to relax, and games with heavy atmospheres tend to be good for that. Silent Hill, in my opinion, is like one of the most chill games ever made. Really. Because, like, the, the sound of the static on the radio and the mistiness of the the fog I mean I know it's just ps1 limitations but the fog you know what I mean and Harry's and Harry's footsteps it's just all like very relaxing to me it all accumulates in a in a relaxing game and then there's Silent Hill 2 which is also very relaxing and there's Silent Hill 3 which is also relaxing and there's 4 which is also relaxing <laughs> I think they're all relaxing. What can I say? And awesome, we got the freaking katana. We're gonna be using that a lot in the hospital. Picking up handgun ammo packs that I will never ever need because why the hell not? There's no harm in it. Health drink that I'll never need because why not? Key of Lyman, Key of Woodman, Key of Scarecrow. Ah uh, yes, those awesome Wonderland keys. What? It's getting dark again. What's going on? Oh, oh. More health drinks. That I'll never need. I'm trying not to get redundant, so I didn't say why the hell not there. Ah oh, fuck, I just said it. This game just, if you're playing this game, you know what I mean? Like, if you're playing this game, go to the options, go to the brightness level, and turn it to zero. Trust me. It's freaking just amazing. The Hyper Blaster, I love it. So awesome. Turn my flashlight on and off. Because I can. Di die. Do you see that? Do you see that? The Hyper Blaster is freaking amazing. He just hit this Air Screamer from that freaking far away. 
Did you, did you freaking see that? I got hit twice, but you know, really, no, nothing, nothing to worry about. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna heal anyway. And there we go. We have a nice, healthy Harry. That's what we want. Look at him running. Look at him go. It's awesome. This game is so fun on New Game Plus. You could just run through the game so quickly with no consequences. And it's just awesome. Here we go. Such a nice reward too. Like 10 stars and you get this. That's awesome. Whoop. Whoopsie daisies. Fun fact, in the demo version of this game, there's actually... When, when you examine the... What's it called? The chemical. When you examine the chemical here, it, it has its own little frame and picture. Like, you know how... Like, like you come over here and you examine the the hand here. See how see how there's like a depiction of the hand here? Like there's like it has its own artwork. In the demo version of the game, that chemical had its own artwork, but not anymore, not in the final version. Shoot, 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 shoot. I have no consequences for my actions. That one lived. That one got lucky. You know what? Because you're a freaking trooper, I'll let you live. But not you. You deserve to die. Shoot, shoot, shoot. You gotta know this by heart at this point. Because who are we kidding? We got the green hyper blaster, so of course we know it by heart. Of course we do. Fuck. Shh, oof. Uh. Alright, this is embarrassing. This is awful. Look at me go. Dislike this video. I was just, I was going too fast and I failed. Anyway, also the 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 earlier version of this puzzle in the demo is so funny. It's like the English is so broken. Actually, no. The funny thing is, is that it is proper English. It's just worded really funny. Let's go meet Sir Cat's lot again. Every time I played this game, I like to come in here and free that cat, but I always skip the cutscene before it can get eaten. Warning, don't forget to take your all of your possessions. Wait, warning, don't forget to take all of your possessions after using the lockers. In my walkthrough, I didn't actually examine this, so... Oh well. I tried to examine all green text in the entire game, and I didn't examine that, sadly. But I did examine every single memo. And I did pick up every single item. Ah, he got me. Shoot, 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 shoot. 
No way you're surviving that, right? And you, shoot, 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 shoot. Awesome. Oh my gosh, he hit that Grey Child from so far away. Did you see that? <clears throat> Sorry, I've been playing Silent Hill 2 a lot, and uh, <clears throat> the uh, the pause and menu items are swapping that game, which is why I keep on pausing, cause, because I actually want to do this instead. Something that I wish Silent Hill 2 had that Silent Hill 1 doesn't have is a button that goes straight to the options. Like, in this game, you can just do this, and you can go straight to the options, but Silent Hill 2 doesn't have that. Might as well use some health drinks. I mean, get some health drinks. Because why the hell not? I mean, who are we kidding? No harm picking them up. In fact, they can only benefit us. So why not? Press this button, Harry. Hell yeah. Gotta find Cheryl. And you'll find her eventually, trust me. Turn around. Harry, stop. H Harry, do this. Okay, thank you. And... There we go. We have a nice, healthy Harry. <clears throat> My voice is kind of... Uh, off today. My, my throat doesn't hurt or anything, it's just... I don't know, I feel coffee. Alrighty. Time for the other world school, hell yeah. The other world school is like, so awesome in this game. Wait, that- Awesome in this game. It's the only Silent Hill game with an other world school, so... Wait, is it? Yeah, I think it is. So, yeah. But I like, I actually like the other world version of the school more than I like the um, other world hospital in this game. Because I like the, I don't know, I, I just like how it looks more. I like, they do look very similar, but there are visual differences. And just by looking at them, I think I like the visual design of the other world school a little more than the other world hospital in this game. Check that out. That's freaking awesome. Wait a minute, can I actually hit these guys with, um, this? Alright, turn around Harry, come on now. Freaking awesome. Also, this room is just really big. Like, like there's nothing in here, it's just a giant room with nothing in it. But it is mandatory. Cards are scattered, Harry. I know, Harry. Pick up the card. Pick up the card. I'm, I'm not even trying to joke right now. He's actually just running everywhere. There we go. Awesome. Yes, blame the protagonist for my mistakes. That's what I do. It's awesome, it is. I, I love games that, might as well pick this up because why the hell not? I, okay. I, I, I love games that have a new game plus, like new game plus if, all right, if you're gonna make a game, do do, do these two things and, you're auto, and you automatically make it a little better than it would be if it didn't have these two things. One, make cutscenes skippable. Two, add a new game plus, and then bam, your game is already at least 20% better. I'm not, I'm not even joking. Like, um, <clears throat> Silent Hill Downpour has a new game plus. Well, t kind of. It, it does. It, it has a new thing on on a second playthrough, but it doesn't really have anything special. And cutscenes are not skippable in Downpour. And because cutscenes are not skippable in Downpour, it ended up being one of my least favorite Silent Hill games. 
because there's no replay value. I don't dislike downpour. It's just I don't like replaying it. Like I like playing it just to kind of experience what's happening in the game. But when I'm like, I want to play downpour for, for fun, you know, just to run through it. I'm like, nah. I'll only play it uh, for, for 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 the story. But Silent Hill One has an has an awesome story and also has awesome gameplay. And I keep on pausing the game with the wrong button because I play, keep on playing Silent Hill Two so much. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Watch this. See that? Max handgun bullets. Well, guess what? Fucking, there we go. I'm gonna pick that up anyway. Because why the hell not? And... One of my favorite parts in the game, right here. I love this part. I don't know, map is- Oh yeah, I didn't pick up the map. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I love this elevator that just... Like, th like this this bathroom teleportation elevator thing that just brings you to the third floor and gives you more items. That's awesome. I love it so much. Very, very useful for 10 stars right there because it gives you three items right there. And uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to get the shotgun. Shotgun. I'm going to I'm going to find the shotgun in the... Uh, what's it called? The police station. New Game Plus is awesome in this game. And why the hell not? I already got max handgun bullets. I think you can, I actually think, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can examine these, these phones again. Can't use the phone, can't use the phone. All right, yeah. I, nothing special, nothing special. Hell yeah, awesome camera. I want to run upstairs. I'm running the wrong way, I actually wanted to run back there. There we go. I want to examine this. And now I want to run over here. The hitbox for this is huge. Like, like you can actually just like stand here. Like, see how I'm like not even facing it? We'll watch this. Oh, wait, I didn't get the thing. Tch, that's embarrassing. Let's go get it, shall we? Oh, uh, is this it? No? Alright, okay, it's down a floor. And then we wanna... <clears throat> go... Over here, this is where I want to go, and then in here, and it should be in here. There we go. I miss getting lost in this game. One of the best experiences you can have in a Silent Hill game is getting lost in one. Which is why the final level in this game is so awesome, nowhere. Like, they don't give you a map, and the geometry doesn't make any sense, so... Of course they're gonna get lost, and it's a great final challenge. Challenge, and I already examined that. All right, so watch this. See, I'm not, I'm not even facing the drain right now. Yeah, it has a funny hitbox. I mean the hole in the drain. I was facing the the drain, but I wasn't facing the hole. And this cutscene is unskippable. And now we want to channeling stone. What? That light. Ooh. Let's 
scary. Creepy. You can find out where to use the channeling stone by uh, those... See that marking up there on the wall? That's how you know when to use it. There's one right there too. And now I want to go back downstairs so we can get that key. This water glows in the dark. I wish Silent Hill 2 and 3 had that, where... You see how when you bump into a wall with Harry, he'll push the door open, so... You can run... You can enter a door mid-bump. You cannot do that in Silent Hill 2 or 3, but I wish you could. Oh god, it's a freaking massacre in here. Jesus. Shotgun shells. Oh, yeah. You get 36 per pack. With a uh, bullet adjust on. Just freaking awesome. pick this up and strafe speed run str okay and then strafe speed run strats hell yeah I don't think speed runners do the strafe there anymore I could be wrong anyway in my walkthrough I say oh I, 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 forgot, I forgot I didn't pick up the map map but <clears throat> in, in my walkthrough I say when I went all the way you know back that's because you can't open this door. I should have made it clear that you couldn't open this. So yeah, so you have to run run manually all the way back. There we go. Also, another mistake in my walkthrough. In my walkthrough, I enter this door to maneuver this room in here. But you actually want to go through this one because it's closer to the other door you want to go through. See that? Big, big mistake on my part. <clears throat> I love it when games give you a new game plus. I just... It's awesome. If a game has a new game plus, then it's automatically a little better than it would be if it didn't. Which is why Majora's Mask is a cool game, because Majora's Mask in, in and of itself is its own new game plus. Like Majora's Mask, when you start it, that is new game plus. <laughs> if, if, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't make any sense. Oh yeah, over here. Ocarina of Time New Game Plus would be cool. Like, you start the game with all health and magic. That'd be cool. God, that's so satisfying. And it's kind of a tradition for me, but every run... Wait, did I even... Hold on a second. Oh yeah, okay. 
every single run of I, I I I do in this game, I like to collect all of the ampules, all three of them. It's just tradition. It's just, it's, it's just tradition for me at this point, just to collect all the ampules. And there's three of them in this game. Oh my goodness, Harry! Freaking, it's right here. There we go. Let me blame the protagonist for my mistakes. Fun fact, I think in-game time doesn't run on this uh, valve puzzle. So while this cutscene's moving, you don't have to worry about losing time for doing a 10-star doing a run if you accidentally put in the wrong input. Splithead actually has two different death animations. So, there's one where you shoot him in his mouth and he dies. And then there's one where you keep on shooting him in the side and he'll just tip over. Also, see this glitch? This visual glitch? That's because of uh, the uh, settings, video, wait, uh, it's actually drivers. That's because of the video driver I'm on. And so yeah, GL, this is the, well, th these three, GL and then GL core and then GL one, these are the best ones. But Vulcan actually fixes this on Vulcan, on the Vulcan renderer this glitch that is appearing on screen right now will not happen. So my walkthrough actually changed to the different renders, I mean drivers, depending on, you know, which scene fit it best. So, the open GL cores, they have better colors, and they do some things better, but I can't quite pinpoint it. But on the Vulcan cores, the colors aren't accurate. They're a little washed out. Which is why I tend to play with the GL cores. Funny thing is that Harry will actually like, okay, so you examine this door, it's locked. But wait, am I doing this right? There's like a... Huh. He has a flavor text for the door that isn't... It, it's different from it's locked. I think it's before you go to the sewer later, so I'm going to show it then. My mistake. And, ah, fuck it. I don't want the health drinks in there. That's gonna be a waste of time. If I grab those health drinks. Anyway, down here. I freaking love purple blood in this game. It just looks so good in every Silent Hill game. Silent Hill 1, 2, 3, and 4, they all have the purple blood option, which is awesome. Silent Hill 4 doesn't have black blood, though, which I wish it did. I don't know why Silent Hill 4 doesn't have black blood in it. Um, I don't need any of these. Might as well not even bother trying to pick them up. Yeah, if Silent Hill 4 had black blood, that would, that, 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 that would be pretty cool. But... Yeah, it doesn't. This game has black blood, though. This game has red, well, normal in this game. So it has normal, green, violet, and black. And same with two and three, but four is just uh, red, green, and violet, I think. Look at it. It looks like I'm not even moving. No way, new strat found a Dodger Screamers. Just spam the shit out of the camera. And you you know what? I don't I don't need that health drink, whatever. Anyway. 
Let's go grab that chainsaw and test out that awesome chainsaw. It's funny when 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 people first played this game, it's like their biggest complaint about it tends to be the air screamers. Like the air screamers can be a real pain in the ass for players who are just starting out, and yeah, I can't blame them. Blame them. They're pretty tough. Chain freaking saw. Awesome. There is a map of this game's items online, and it'll point out where every item is. But it's not completely accurate because it puts an item right here, and there is no item here on that map. Alright, okay, so in order to get this to not crash on this emulator, I need to go to the, uh, what do, I, what do I need to go to again? This, and then this, and then, okay, options. All right, so I want to turn off that, and this, and this. There we go. There we go. All right. And turn that back on and then that back on. A lot of people don't like the controls in this game, but I think controls perfectly fine, honestly. Honestly, there are some things about the controls. Huh. Did you hear that? Because I have never, ever heard that noise in my life in this game. Anyway, um, what I was saying, th there are actually some things about Silent Hill 2's controls that I don't like as much as this game's controls. Like, I, I shouldn't even, whatever, I'm not gonna pick that up because I don't have to. Um, why did I pick up the gas tank? Anyway, like in Silent Hill 2, when you, re when, when, uh, James reloads his gun, there's like this thing about it where, alright, pretend I'm playing as James and pretend... That, that James is reloading his gun right now. When you walk forward, when that's happening, James will not stop walking forward until he's done reloading his gun. He won't stop walking forward until that animation is finished. And, and same thing about when he shoots, about when James shoots. So when you're James and you have the handgun and you shoot, it's like, yes, you shoot very quickly, but at the same time, it's noticeable that that uh, James moves with the shots, and it's kind of annoying. I don't know if I'm describing that as good as, as, good as I could, but I'm just saying that, that like, I don't know. Like, I feel like I get hit more in Silent Hill 2 when I don't mean to, mostly because of stuff that James does, and I'm like, ah, fuck. Like, everything in this game, I blame myself for. Like, whenever I get hit in this game, I'm like, ah, fuck, that was my fault. But it's not hill too, I feel like I can get hit and it's like not even my fault. I'm like, James, god damn it. Because it, sometimes it feels like James has a mind of its own. Really. If they just fix that little uh, anomaly with his controls, where he just keeps on walking in the middle of animations, like his like walking controls are dependent on the animation he's doing. They just kind of fix that and Silent Hill 2 would definitively control way better than this game. In fact, Silent Hill 2 does kind of, you know, it's like smoother in this game. It's less blocky and choppy in this game. But also, wait, one, one more thing. I need to, okay, in order to get this to not crash on the emulator, I actually need to 
turn off where is it um there you go widescreen hack yeah I, you gotta turn off widescreen hack in order for this drawbridge to play properly on the emulator anyway yeah Silent Hill 2 uh i freaking forgot what i was talking about i can't remember what i was talking about <laughs> I think I was talking about uh the controls. Yeah, um James just I really do feel like James just has a mind of his own sometimes. But but not Harry. I feel like Harry does what I tell him to. Especially on the PS2 version, because James will You gotta do a strong attack by pushing in the X button quickly and hard but I swear sometimes they'll do a weak attack anyway and I'm like fuck James I'm gonna enter the police station because it is kind of tradition for me at this point nice try Look at that. I love how they put the map in here in case you don't get it. That's so nice of them. Also, this is one of the most underrated songs in the game because this song is genuinely creepy. Check that out. The shotgun's right there. That's freaking awesome. Love it. Let's examine this. And let's examine this. Doing this just so, just see if I can read that memo later in the in nowhere, or not, because I might go for the UFO ending. I'll decide what happens. Uh oh, an air screamer's coming. Gotta dodge by bashing the camera. No, you can't hit me. Ah, uh, okay. Let me, nah, let me heal. Oh my god, I have 16 health drinks and I and I don't even mean that that many. That's what happens when you play this game a lot. Like, it just becomes so easy, even on hard mode. Even casually on hard mode becomes easy. Like, I may have the Hyper Blaster, but like even just casually on hard mode, it becomes kind of easy. Anyway, uh, freaking rock drill and chainsaw. Oh man, man, we're gonna we're gonna have a ton of fun fun of these in the hospital. Actually, rock drill. Love it. This game is so fun. It's, it's just so fun. That bang is the sound of Kaufman shooting the air screamer. Some people don't know that. Like some people will play this game multiple times and, and they'll never connect the dots that that bang is Kaufman in here shooting that screamer. And we want to, yeah, come in here. All right. And then over here, get past the chair, Harry. There we go. Also, another thing that I probably not even true, but it just like feels like it. I feel like Harry quick turns faster than James does. Like, I feel like I can do this faster than James when I'm playing as Harry. I, you know what? You know what? I'm not gonna get the red liquid because I'm going for the UFO ending. All right, so let's see here. Uh, you want to use it? You, I'm trying to map out in my head where 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 the locations to use the uh, what's it called? The channeling sonar. So I know you want to use it in 
the roof like I did and you want to use it before float stinger and you want to use it in the motel parking lot and then you want to use it on the boat and then um oh yeah the lighthouse there we go I got it all anyway the coolest other world transition in the entire series happens in the first game and it's right here Actually, I think Downpour has the coolest other world transition, if I'm being honest. Tch, that's a controversial take. Downpour has the coolest other world transition. I just ought to get this video dislikes. Pretty sure this cutscene is broken on this. I mean, yeah, on a GL renderer, this cutscene doesn't even show. So in my walkthrough, I actually had to switch to, I had to edit in that cutscene playing. Also, this song is just so appropriate. Love it. And then the music increases right before you go out and meet these nurses, and it's just all so appropriate. Oh. Oh. God, I freaking love Purple Blood so much. Wow, is she the only nurse in this hallway? I would expect more in hard mode. All right, let's go. Let's try the chainsaw now. The chainsaw is better than the rock drill. So I didn't even need to come in here. Why did I come in here? And you don't even need anything in here either. What am I doing? <laughs> but we do have to come in here. It's really cool how the chainsaw in this game will let go of me, will damage uh, enemies even when you're not attacking with it. Like you can just hold it out and it, and and, it, and it'll damage. But in Silent Hill 2, you have to like actually attack with it to use it. So yeah. But I I, I do like it in two more anyway. I'm not using, I'm not, I'm not backing up properly. Yeah, New Game Plus is just really fun. You want to come in here, grab, can we go in here? No, you can't. Grab this, blood pack. Say hello to Toad on the wall. Hi, Toad. I mean, that can't be a coincidence, right? I mean, look at it. It, it looks like a Toad, and there's even like a star around it. It, it just, it, it just, it's, it just looks a lot like Toad. Chainsaw is freaking awesome in this game. Not as awesome as it is in Silent Hill 2. In Silent Hill 2, it's freaking amazing, but it's still awesome. And now, finally, my favorite weapon in the entire freaking game: the katana. Not even joking. This is this is my favorite weapon in the game. Stop it! Stop it! Stop! Stop, Stop it! Hell yeah, katana! Awesome. Wrong door. And I think it's the first floor, right? Yeah. Probably. Because I think I distinctly remember saying in my walkthrough that um, you want to go to the second, f first floor first, even though the second floor would probably be a, a 
a good idea casually, but if you want to take the most efficient route, then go to the first floor. Also, apparently this sound isn't randomized. It just kind of happens when you enter this area and then walk over here. Grab the plate of queen right there. You could probably go through the whole game like this. Imagine playing the whole game like that. Like the whole like like the the whole entire game. Freaking love the katana. There's a health drink in here. Might as well, I mean, take it. Harry, come on. All right, I meant to, I meant to, I meant to uh, turn backwards there, but instead he sidestepped. Sidestepped. And I think there is stuff in here, but we don't need it. All right, floor two, here we come. I am just scrolling the wrong way, but that's fine. Ah, I guess you can't skip that cutscene. And then I'm gonna come over here and then I'm gonna do this puzzle. I think this puzzle is so satisfying to just do quickly because you basically just draw an X and you, so yeah, pause the game, select one, X. And it's it's so satisfying how the menu will automatically go to the next one. Like, like you don't even have to like scroll through the menu like this. Like it will automatically just kind of uh, go to the next one, which is awesome. And again, the menu has nowhere else to go, so... Yeah, this game has, um... Let's see here, it has the chainsaw, that's one, two, three, and then four. I think that's four extra weapons. Silent Hill 2 only has two extra weapons. So kind of a downgrade from one if you think about it. For some reason I'm trying to like go backwards a lot, but it just keeps on running. There is a first aid kit in here. I mean no harm in picking it up. Because why not? Come at me, nurses. God, purple blood is so freaking cool. Do I want the hammer? You know what? We don't need it. Because we got the Tommy. Could have done that a little cleaner, but oh well. And I think I'm forgetting an item. I am forgetting an item. What do you know? I think it's funny because uh, I, I I think in my walkthrough I mention something like this is the easiest item to forget and I just forgot it. 
But sometimes that just happens, you know what I mean? Alright, that item would be over here. And then over here. And it would be in here. There we go. And it's a good thing that we forgot that item, because we get to use the katana more now. And the katana is a fun weapon to use. I freaking love the hospital song. my square button is kind of losing its touch a bit. I think that's what the problem is. But, nah, oh well. Sometimes that just happens, you know what I mean? Nothing lasts forever. So, so you know, you're gonna have controllers that die on you. Alright, the ampule is over there. And what is wrong with my controls right now? No damage. Yay. Body is laid out on the bed. Don't feel like checking this out. Fun fact, when the, when the text scrolls like this across the screen, in-game time has stopped. All right, want to use this? And a health drink, actually. You know what? Let's, uh... Do the first aid kit. And lighter. I like how that box says Side Chicks TV. I wonder what that means. Yeah, see on the box there, it says like, Psy Chick TV, which is pretty interesting. Oh, hello. All right, want to come in here? What's this? And we got the examination room key. That's all you want down here. And we also want to use the katana. Because the katana is just a ton of fun to use. Well, I mean, if that doesn't happen. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, goodness gracious me. Stop it. Oh, oh no. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh god. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Ew, get those germs off me. Alrighty, we're back. And really no harm in picking up these And really no harm picking up these handgun bullets. Because who are we kidding? And now we can finally meet Lisa. But first, let's use the katana on this nurse. Love the katana so much.
So yeah, that was Angela. I mean, uh, Lisa. Sorry, I've been playing a lot of Silent Hill too, so. All right, I'm gonna switch back to uh, the handgun. Wait, not the handgun. What am I doing? But the hyper blaster. Any dogs out here? No, I killed probably because I killed them earlier. In, in my walkthrough, it was so weird. I, I didn't kill them on my first entrance, or at least I don't think I did. But when I exited the hospital, they were gone. Did I mention that New Game Plus is awesome in this game? I don't think I mentioned that yet. Well, there we go. The cool thing about New Game Plus is that, like, you don't have to worry about getting hit. Like, you can just kind of get hit and deal with it because there's no penalty. Like, you can just... Like, see, I have, I have so many health drinks that I can just use them. Because they're not going to be using that many health drinks because you have the Hyper Blaster. And you're protected. Alright, when I come down here, use the Antique Shop key. And... Push this. And now we must fight Twin Feeler after doing all the fancy schmancy other world transitioning that Harry is capable of doing. And do I want the axe? You know what? Let's pick up the axe. It's tradition. Harry, freaking turn around. Also, this is another example of a cutscene breaking on the, uh, on the, on the driver I'm using. So if you're, so if you're running on Vulcan, the colors will be a little less accurate, but this cutscene will not look like this. What the? So yeah, in my, uh, in my walkthrough, I actually splice in, you know, the Vulcan version of that cutscene because it looks and plays better. Yeah, this cutscene is just all sorts of fuckery on uh on that renderer. I mean this renderer, not that renderer. It would be this renderer because I'm currently on this renderer, the the renderer, the OpenGL renderer driver that ruins that cutscene. Christ, my speech. And now we get to watch one of my favorite cutscenes in the game. Or not. Yeah, just <laughs> had to switch some some you know some some drivers in that uh cutscene in, in in my walkthrough. We could run in here. Grab some rifle shells if you please. And with X6 bolt adjust, that's 36 rifle shells per pack, which is freaking amazing. So yeah, you basically get unlimited ammo, and you get so many cool extra stuff to play with on New Game Plus. It's just awesome. Back up and then run forward. Did I do it? Did I do it? Yes, I did it. It's always so satisfying, the one cycle, that monster. It's funny, like, sometimes on, like, the subreddit, there'll be people who are like, 
I'm stuck on twin feel or what do I do? And then, you know, someone will comment saying like, oh, you got to get the, the the rifle rifle because like a lot of people, I don't know what it is. Like a lot of people just miss the rifle in this game. Like a lot of people can't seem to find the rifle even though it's right there. I don't think it's hard to find. Am I talking too fast? I don't know. Freaking love that sound of the of the air screamer just kind of squeaking. They want to run over here. I think we want to run over here at least. Yeah, right. I love this camera. I really wish Silent Hill 2 and 3 had it. Silent Hill 4 having a camera like this would be very appropriate for that game. Did I get turned around? Am I, am I running the right way? I think I am. No way, I think I'm running back. Yeah, this is just where I came from, right? Yeah, okay. This, this reminds me of the good old days. I mean, not really the good old days because I didn't grow up with this game. I only, I only like, I got into this game my teen years and yeah, but I, I miss being able to get lost in this game. And right now I am lost. So it's nostalgic for me. So there's that there. And I want to find the police station. I think that's the police station, right? No, that's not the police station. I love the sounds of the air screamers. I mean, I mean the night flutters, because these are night flutters. These aren't air screamers. Uh, the police station should be here any second. There it is. There's the police station. All right. And from the police station, I want to run down here. This game is so fun when you just know where everything is and know where to go. It's so satisfying to be able to run through a game like this. God, I freaking love the Hyper Blaster. Kill those groaners, because why not? I don't think those are groaners. I think that's the other variant of them. And now I want to go fight uh, the float stinger. But before we do that, because this is a new game plus, you know, we got to we got to stick to tradition. We want to get the UFO ending. What? That Lloyd. Goodness gracious me. Yeah, that, uh, again, that's a problem with the open GL driver that I'm using. Because, you know, that little graphical glitch that you saw in that cutscene does not happen on Vulcan. But again, I don't like Vulcan because the colors are not as accurate on Vulcan. So you win some, you lose some. That's what happens when you play on an emulator. And you want to wait every couple seconds. Because let's remember, Float Stinger has a ton of invincibility frames. There we go. 
I really like the float stinger in this game. I think it's such a cool design. Mobs have a lot of uh, meaning in Silent Hill. Eh, might as well. I actually wasn't on full health there, even though it looked like it. It's very subtle, but this game does have a color between... I didn't mean to run back up. This game does have a color between green and yellow health. And it looks like full health, but it's not full health, trust me. It looks kind of like a lime green, it's very subtle. Fun fact, there's a, there's kanji over here. So, if, so if, if we run over here to this restaurant, we can see a little bit of kanji. I think that's kanji. If that's not kanji, then I'm sorry. That was offensive of me. Just assume any text that looks like that is kanji. Did I get the stuff down here? I did not. Might as well pick that up for no reason. Who am I kidding? Anyway, I'm gonna go back and examine the uh, the, the school door so I can show what I was trying to show earlier. Yeah, you can skip this. All right, so gonna run back to the school here. And then over here. Gonna kill all these monsters so they don't bother me. There's a night flutter somewhere. There it is. Oh, there's two of them. Good thing those weren't. Good thing they weren't those like super ultra night flutter spawns that like have infinite health. Anyway, no reason to search the school anymore. However, you can actually go through this door. So yeah, it, isn't that interesting? How he'll like, say he doesn't need to search the school anymore, but this door is still able to be gone through. I, I always find mistakes like that interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Cool little mistake there. God, just love the Hyper Blaster. It's just so awesome. The Hyper Blaster, they got it right in this game. Like, every Silent Hill game has a 10 star reward. Silent Hill 1's, you know, Hyper Blaster. Silent Hill 2's is the green Hyper Blaster, I mean, Hyper Spray, which is awesome. Silent Hill 3's 10 star reward is a upgrade to the Flame Slower, Flame Slower. I mean, flamethrower and the lightsaber, and you also get a shirt for it. And Silent Hill 4's 10 star reward is like a free for all mode, which is pretty cool. Like in Silent Hill 4, you'll get uh, every item at the start, and you also get infinite health supplies, which is pretty dang awesome. But, man, just. I. It's either a tie between the Hyper Blaster or the Hyper Spray on which one's the best, but. I'm probably going to go with the Hyper Blaster, only because, in my opinion at least, I mean, I, I think this is the unpopular opinion, but in my opinion, it's easier to unlock than the Hyper Spray. I think the Hyper, the I think, I think the green Hyper Blaster is a little easier to unlock than the green Hyper Spray. 
Because I, I think getting a 10 star ranking in Final 3 is lame. Um. So yeah, just for like the sake of, you know, the effort you need to go through for the reward, I would say that the Hyper Blaster is better than the Hyper Spray. But maybe the Hyper Spray is better just overall. You know what I mean? But yeah, like in terms of unlocking it, uh, Hyper Blaster is better. I don't know. I really don't think 10 starring this game is that bad. I really don't think it's an issue. This is this door's locked. This door's locked, right? Yeah, I knew it. Run around this one. Because you'll get blocked. And then cut this one tightly. Because you won't get blocked. Don't bother picking up the map because maps don't count as items. Isn't that a funny little reference? And this is the wrong way, right? Yep. For some reason, it's it's the sewer that always gets me. It's always the sewer, and, and it's always the first sewer, not the second sewer, that'll trip me up when I'm playing. Like, I'll run the wrong way and I'll be like, uh, I'm running the wrong way on purpose because I want to fight the hang scratcher. <laughs> did I kill a single hang scratcher yet? I don't think I did. Did I? I don't know. But let's kill these uh, creepers. It's really cool how the creepers return to Silent Hill too. Silent Hill will do that. Well, they'll bring a creature back from in 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 a game. Like for example, the mandarins in Silent Hill two come back in a different form as the closures closers in Silent Hill three. Granted, they're they're way freaking tougher in Silent Hill two. Like Silent Hill two. Ah, I I I I I'm, I'm, I'm stuttering. I've never seen this camera angle. Anyway. Yeah, the, the, there are the closers and the mandarins, but the, the, the closers of Silent Hill 3 aren't an issue, but the, the mandarins in Silent Hill 2 are like the creepers on steroids because they can attack you from underneath the floor and they have, and they take, and they have so much freaking health in that game. It's ridiculous. And the hyper spray does not help. If you have the green hyper spray, you will not be able to kill them with it. I mean, you could if you are super lucky. I've had it happen once, but I assume that the game just glitched out on me. Where I actually managed to kill a mandarin with the hyper spray. The green hyper spray. But yeah, uh, closers, Silent 3, not an issue. Then we run over here. And, oh, wrong way. Again, it's always the sewer that gets me. It's always the sewer. We can dodge these creepers if we just spam the camera like this. It's a strat that I just came up with that doesn't work. Alrighty, uh, yeah, I don't need to heal. Now it's time to deal with these guys. Which shouldn't be a problem with the green hyper blaster. And let's kill this one over here with the katana. Because why the hell not? God, freaking love that. I, I love how the menu organizes it as well. Like, they put the Hyper Blaster as the last handgun. I mean, as the last gun. So you got the handgun, shotgun, 
hunting rifle, and then the hyper blaster. This is to signify that the hyper blaster is the best and strongest because it's from weakest to strongest. So handgun would, and then the level two would be the shotgun, and then level three would be the hunting rifle, and then level four that's hyper blaster. Same thing with the with the melee weapons. They put the katana last because they're acknowledging it that it's the best weapon, the 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 best uh, physical weapon in the game. Same thing with Hill 2. They put the Hyper Blaster after, I mean the Hyper Spray after the uh, handgun and all the other guns in the in the menu and they put the chainsaw last in the menu next to the other physical weapons because they know that the chainsaw is the best weapon, the, the best melee weapon in that game. I'm being followed by... Wait, are there uh, hang, hang scratchers in here? I don't think so. I heard them though. Probably in the room behind this one. In my opinion, this is the scariest area in the game. I'm, I'm actually being serious. Like, in my opinion, this is the scariest area. It may not seem like like that because I'm not saying anything about it, but yeah, I think this is the scariest place in the game. All right, now it is time to uh, use the channeling stone at the motel. That would be over here. Let's spam our light. And spam the camera so we don't get hit. You know, I'm gonna stop doing that because it's probably annoying to watch. Alright, wanna come over here and then over here. This is the fastest route to the motel, I think. You wanna, you wanna run through the park. Think. I know that's what the task does, but I don't know if the task is optimized. Yeah, so just run over here, you know, run in here, and then you want to use the channeling stone here. What? What? That light. And again, my renderer is, I mean, my driver kind of breaks the pixel effect there. Oh, it's all skipping. Do you see that? Huh. I wish Silent Hill 2 had snow. But it doesn't. There's a weird song they're playing. Anyway, when I run over here. And wow, look at this. Look at that. This is interesting. Whoa. Wait, there's a door here you can... Okay. I did not ever know that there was a freaking door here you could examine. You can just examine these doors. That's interesting. Hold on a second, I'm going to explore this area. That is bizarre. That is bizarre how there are... Doors... To be examined here. And the... The... Uh, hyper... Blaster... Scope is hard to see from from, from, from from this far away. Look at that. That's interesting. I didn't... Huh. Alright. Let's get a nice zoom out of this. It's just a diner. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Ah, I, oh, fuck.
Like, you learn something new every time you play this game, because I did not know you could examine any of those doors there. Usually every door outdoors that you can examine, like in the town, is a door that you can enter. So it's weird that there's an exception just right there, laying out in the open. Alright, anyway, this one over here. I, th I think I'm running the right way, right? I don't know. I'm probably running, like, you know, the complete opposite direction I'm supposed to do. No way! I'm all at the beginning, what the fuck? That's embarrassing. I'm like, look at me going the right way. When, in actuality, I was just running back to the start. Isn't that something? This game has good lighting. I don't know if it has, like, particularly special lighting for a PS2 game, I'm mean, PS1 game, but it still looks very nice. Alright, he's gonna get me. Stop! Oh, okay. Da Aw. Stop it. Die! There we go. Look at the purple blood. It, the purple blood sometimes looks blue and looks very nice when it looks blue a little bit. I've heard some people say that their favorite blood color in this game is green, and I'm like, why? Green is my favorite color, but the hard thing about having green What's as this? your favorite color is that you need to kind of acknowledge the fact that not many other colors go good if green. Purple goes good if green. And pink goes pretty good if green as well, but... Green is typically best on its own, so I don't think that uh, green blood looks good in this game or any of those Silent Hill games for that matter. Also, do you see that there? And in my walkthrough, I actually need to, I, I had to change that cutscene out for a different cutscene because it breaks on this uh, driver. So I had to, again, I had to change it to Vulcan and then I had to switch back to OpenGL, but it was seamless to the viewer because I edited it perfectly. I mean, maybe not. I think in my ori original walkthrough, there's, there's like this, there's like this really embarrassing, like fade out in the music because I edited it wrong where I was trying to get the fixed cutscene in the video. So yeah, all those times, all the all the breaking cutscenes that you're seeing here. Now you know what I saw when I played the game. So many monsters, it's awesome. Yeah, I really don't think, like, I don't know, like, I I honestly genuinely believe that 10 starring Silent Hill 2 is harder than 10 starring this game, but I don't think that's the popular opinion. I think most people think that Silent Hill 1 is harder than 10 star. Anyway, before we leave this boat, let's use the freaking channeling stone in here, shall we? What? That light? <laughs> yeah. Accurate colors gives you inaccurate blur effects on an emulator. You get one or the other. Can't get both. I'm going to try to run through this whole section like this. This is so cool. Okay, and then quick turn here. And then turn here and then run down here. All right. 
we're golden. We're gonna run up here. And then up these stairs. That was awesome. And now let's go up these stairs in first person. Ooh, look at that. Ah, that's beautiful. Yeah, so this game really is a... It's a game of beauty because it's a game that has amazing gameplay and an amazing story all in one beautiful package. Also, this is uh, what this looks like on this driver. So yeah, when you play on Vulcan, you're not going to get this glitch. But the colors... The colors. What? what? That light. <laughs> there, there's something funny about this, but I can't quite pinpoint my finger on what's funny about it. I, I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's something very funny about that. Let's just enjoy this. Um, uh, let me ask you: Have you seen a little girl around here, short black hair? Yep. <laughs> Konami trolled us, guys. I don't want to watch the credits, honestly. But yeah, that was New Game Plus. Wasn't that freaking awesome? You wrecked shit with the katana and the green hyper blaster. And yeah, it's just it's just so cool. Check that out. No aiming shots. One. That is because the hyper blaster does not count as any sort of ranged shot. It be that way. Save. Nah, I can just... There's no reason for me to save because I can just play whenever I want. I have the game right here. You know. Load content, have a save file every part in the game. Yep. So yeah, thank you for watching. That was New Game Plus.